Hi. Here we're going to try and differentiate between the axon hillock region and the axon initial seg segment or AIS of a neuron. And the axon initial hillock region is generally thought to be the place where where spikes are generated or action potentials are initiated and it turns out that it's more correct to say that the axon initial segment is where this occurs and just to get a picture of what we're talking about we could draw this neuron here with its nice long axon and for realism's sake we have some dendritic branching it's a poor drawing but regardless this region over here really more part of the soma than the axon is the axon hillock and this area is traditionally is traditionally taught to be the site where the synaptic inputs from the rest of the neuron summate so we can get an action potential it's support thought of as the place that has increased the excitability so that summation will actually be a, will be actually be able to get the neuron above threshold and create an action potential that will generate that propagate down the axon and really in every direction, you know, outwards from this axon hillock. Now, it turns out that more like some, you know research is showing that this region here, the AIS. Is really it, it's showing that this region is where it's taking place now this AIS has is, I've drawn it directly adjacent to the axon hillock however it's important to realize that just the same way that neurons are very morphologically variable this AIS may also be variable each neuron does not necessarily have the same AIS it, it's not the same size within different neurons and it's not in the same place so it could maybe be farther to the right closer to a myelinated region it could be farther to the left even closer to the axon hillock it could be you know its its size is generally 20 to 50 microns now that is probably a very loose range and the important thing to th remember is that this AIS what makes it special is the, really the unique set of conductances embedded in this membrane here in this region so we have a lot of voltage gated sodium channels some potassium channels, some calcium channels, and even some consistently active channels that all work together to increase the excitability of this region and perhaps even bring it closer to the threshold so that's easier to get an action potential. Now, it turns out, it turns out that this region is actually responsible for more than just the generation of the spikes. It could be responsible for the pattern of the spikes it could be responsible for the the size of the spike so the unique set of conductances here you know really may make a difference in how this neuron acts and another special thing about the AIS is that because of different levels of neuronal activity or it's it, it can change its size can change its location can change it is activity dependent in that manner or in some neurons it's shown to be activity dependent and within different patterns, neuronal, you know, spiking patterns, they found that this region has maybe shifted farther to the left or farther to the right. And the last thing is that other neurons can have an input in this region, maybe with a GABA input or even a G-protein coupled receptor, maybe activated here, that seem to alter the responsiveness of the conductances embedded in this membrane so that you know, the, you may change the pattern of firing or how easy it is to make a spike. And that that makes, you know, this site, everything we were talking about here makes this site a very important region when it comes to maybe pharmacological intervention in, in different disease states. And one thing to keep, you know, in case you guys want more information is just to know that a lot of what we talked about here came from a review by Bender and Trussell in 2012 so if you guys want more information you could look there but this was just a quick summary to try and differentiate between the axon hillock and the AIS, AIS so you have to remember that this region that this whole idea of where the spikes are generated it, it's, a, it's a more complex idea than the way it's generally taught it's something that's still being tweaked and is still has a long way to go and I thank you guys for listening and as always hope you tune into the next video